All right. Hi, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us once again. So today we're going to look at counting principle. That is your question 10 still in your uh, November 2022 past paper. OK. OK, we're going to start with 10.2.1. So they gave you in 10.2 that a four digit code is required to open a combination lock. The code must be even numbered, very, very important restriction, and may not contain zero or one. The digits may not be repeated. So you are given three restrictions. It must be even numbered, may not contain zero or one, and the digits cannot be repeated. Okay, so the first question wanted to calculate uh, the the total number of possible four digits combinations that can be formed in order to open this this lock okay so i'm just going to create uh, four spaces here for this remember uh, because zero or one cannot be used it means we can either choose digits two or four or i mean two three four five six seven eight or nine okay then um, for it to be even numbered uh, remember for a digit to be even numbered or a number to be even number the last digit must be what must be an even number so in the last position it must be an even number so it's either we can put two we can put four we can put six or we can put eight so for so that it can be even numbered okay so that's the idea any number that ends with an even number will always be an even number so that's the idea there okay so now in the first position we can either choose any of these right we can either choose two we can either choose four i mean three three four five six seven eight or nine okay but wait a bit look at something here there's a restriction that says digits may not be repeated okay and you can see that if you're gonna choose two here you have another two that must be in the last position for this to be even okay can you see that it will affect uh, or rather that um, that statement that the digits may not be repeated so in this case where you find there's a clash now uh, when you put the total combination in one side and another side and you are seeing that no no it's gonna violate the statement that says digit cannot be repeated what do you do you can just break it into um, into cases right because you can see there's a two year there's a two in the last position there's a four year in the first there's a four in the in the last there's a six year in the first there's a six in the last eight year eight in the last so how do we do it now we can just break it into cases and we start with the one that start with the two right then all these things that are repeating then we also have another case where we're gonna start with the four then we have another case where we can start with a six and again another case where we can start with an eight okay then um from our choices there then we'll also have another case where we can either put three uh, uh five seven or what or nine because these ones are not clashing with the even digits right that's why we're just putting them all in the same place because they don't clash with the uh, even digits that must be in the last position okay okay so now after breaking it into cases remember in the last position it must be an even number so i just put two or four or six or eight in all these cases because we must form an even numbered code okay so now if we start with two here how many choices do we have we only have one choice in the first position but then in the last position here uh you won't have to use two because you have already used it in the first position remember in counting principle really we only put the number of choices that we have in a particular case right so hence we are saying if i'm starting with a two here how many choice do i have it's one choice that there must be a two it's only one choice of the digit that it must be a two then we are saying in the last position 
also we have to cater for it because this must be even number we can't use two again because we have already used it then you'll be left with what with three choices you can either put four you can either choose six or you can either choose eight okay then now when you are coming to the middle here you are going to the total uh, choices that you had you could either choose three i mean two three four five six seven eight and nine those are eight choices now you ask yourself and you say okay from eight choices two has been removed and one digit will be removed here three doesn't mean that uh, you're gonna remove three of them in this position one will sit there right in this position and also here one digit will sit there although we are saying we have three choices and here uh, one choice now we are going to say okay for us to get the answer in the middle how many choices do we have we are saying from the total of eight choices we have used two of those choices then from eight we subtract two we'll be left with what six choices then will be six choices there because the repetition is not allowed if repetition it was allowed we we'll still have to choose from eight choices right but now we are saying because repetition it's not allowed then from eight choices two of them have filled the space then you are left with what with six choices then here now you go and say okay from eight choices one one two three have filled then uh from eight you subtract three then you'll be left with what five choices then you can count all those codes that can be formed that start with two and that are even numbered okay similar to this one uh you have one choice because you are starting with four then you cannot use four again you can either choose two six or eight and those are what those are three choices okay so then in the middle also you say you do the same thing from eight choices i've choose two digits then i'll be left with six choices to choose from then i've used three digits i'll be left from eight i subtract three i'll be left with five just like that so this will be the same as this one if we start with six it's only one choice there then i cannot use six again then i have three choices i've used two from eight i'll be left with how much six choices then five choices here okay Remember, we are only concerned with the number of choices that we have in a particular case. Hence, we are talking about choices because counting principle says we only we multiply the number of choices or options that we have in a particular case to in order to get the total number of combinations that can be made. Okay, so now if we start with an 8 here, then it's only one choice. Then we cannot repeat 8 again. Then you have how many? three choices okay so from um, uh, a total of eight choices that you had two of them have been used then you have how many six like that five okay then we now come to these ones that start with uh, odd numbers right if we start with odd numbers so we are doing them same time because they are not clashing with uh, those ones that are that are ending there okay that's why we are just doing them uh, same time we can't do them in in um what's that in um we can't do them in cases okay because uh, they are not clashing there these ones we can just calculate them once but those ones two four six and eight we had to do them in cases because uh, we saw that that digit was also appearing at the end so it would affect the statement that says the digits may not be repeated okay so now how many choices do we have we can either choose three five seven or nine these are four choices here in the last position we can choose two four six or eight how many choices we have four choices to choose from okay then we now come to say okay from our total of digits uh, that were eight two will be used in those positions then in this position you will have to choose from six then in this one you'll have to choose from five okay then now we can finally calculate for each of these um, options then we add up our answer so in this i'm getting 90 in this one also 90 this one i'm also getting 90 and uh, here i'm also getting 90 
then here I'm getting 480 then we can just add all of them in order to now get the final answer for the total combinations of codes that can be formed given the restriction that was given then okay so the total number of combination of codes that can be formed will be 90 how many 90s 1 2 3 4 so I'm just saying 90 times 4 then plus 400 and what and 80 then it will finally give us 840 total codes that can be formed given this restriction so it's uh, maybe it was uh, quite a bit long and all that but um, I, I hope you understand this okay okay let's go to 10.2.2 it says calculate the probability that you will open the lock at the first attempt if it is given that the code is greater than 5000 and the third digit is 2 all right they want you to calculate the probability so we do know that uh, the probability of an event is equals to the number of favorable outcomes that is the number of event divided by the total number of sample space okay what is the number of favorable outcome here so the favorable outcome here is that when you uh, open the lock at your first attempt it will um, it is uh, it will give you a code uh, or rather uh, it will be opened with a code that is greater than 5000 and that the third digit is 2 this is the number of favorable uh, outcome okay so we have to first go and calculate the total number of combination that can be made with this uh, first attempt such that the code is greater than 5000 and that the third digit is 2 okay so the number of events is the total number of combination of the lock that can be made right uh, with the um, uh, and I think we have already calculated it in 10 point 2.1 we got it as 840 right the total number of um, uh, sample space okay so now it is left for us to go and calculate the number of events the favorable outcome when you open the lock at your first attempt the code must be greater than 5000 and that the third digit will be 2 okay so let's go and calculate that now okay so now we do know that this is 10.2 which is connected to uh, I mean it's 10.2.2 which is connected uh, to 10.2 here right meaning that this restriction still applies for 10.2.1 10.2.2 that the code must be even number that the D it must not contain 0 1 and that the digit must not be repeated that information still applies because I mean it's 10.2.2 it comes from 10.2 there right meaning that code must still be aligned with that but it's just that we are adding more now we are saying uh, it must be greater than 5000 and that the third digit must be 2 okay so let's go and calculate uh, we want to form a four digit code for it to be greater than 5000 it means the first one can be 5 can be 6 7 8 or 9 we can start with a 5 6 7 8 or 9 whatever when we start with that to be greater than uh, 5000 okay so then the third digit must be 2 right so in the third position there must be 2 and that um, remember uh, in the first statement they had said it must be even numbered right what are even numbers uh, it means for it to be even number it means the last digit remember the last digit must be an even number right so which is uh, 2 or 4 or 6 or 8 okay so now uh, remember it may not contain 0 1 and uh, digits may not be repeated repetition is not allowed and you do know that we have eight choices because we can either choose from 2 uh, 3 4 5 6 seven eight and nine which form eight choices okay uh, because repetition is not allowed and we can see something here ne? Uh, if you check six eight right uh, six eight can you see uh, they are they are repeating the and again two two they are repeating the it means for those ones we are going to uh, form um, uh, uh, to to form um 
cases, right? Because so that we still do not repeat uh, the, 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 the digits. Okay, so I'm just going to branch out those ones. Uh, one, two, three, four. Maybe we can put five here. We start with five. Five is not clashing with anything. And uh, seven and nine. Okay, those ones are not clashing with anything. But if we put two here, here it's two, four, six, or eight. But because two must be in the middle, we'll no longer have two in the last position, right? We'll add the shoes from four, six, and eight. Okay. All right. So the one that we're clashing was six because we can see it being repeated there. So we can branch out and uh, form a case, uh, another case. So this is the first case where we are starting with five, seven, and nine. Then we are also forming another case where we're going to start with the 6. Um, then there must be 2 there. Then obviously uh, we cannot repeat 2 again. So we'll have to choose from 4 or 8. We can't use 6, right? Because uh, 6 has been used in the first position. Then we can also branch out for what? For uh, 8. Okay. So if we branch out for 8, it means here we can either choose, we won't choose 2 because 2 has been used in the third position. We can either choose 4, right, or what, or 6. But we cannot choose um, 8 uh, because um, 8 has been used already there. Okay, so I think we have included all of them. Uh, just to check, we must have 5 in the first position, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And in this case, we have 5, 7, and 9, when 6 and 8. Um, uh, I think we have included all of them in the first position. Okay, maybe just to explain this so that you can understand, when do I know that I have to break them down into cases? That is when they are not aligning with the restriction given. The restriction that digits may not be repeated. And we saw that when we just put it in the fir uh, first time here, just putting everything here, we saw that, oh, actually 6, if we put it in this position, it's repeating uh, that side. And they said there's no repetition, meaning you're going to branch out to for 6. 8, we can see it being repeated again there. Then you branch out for 8. Then the rest that do not clash, you just leave them as they are, as you can calculate uh, once there. And get the total number of codes so that's when you you can notice that okay so now we can now go and count the number of favorable outcomes uh, we can see that here we can either choose five seven or nine so we have three choices here we can choose four six or eight we also have three choices right then in the middle uh, the third one must be a two it's only one choice right so you go and ask yourself from the total of eight choices that you had to choose from, three numbers are going to fill those three positions, one, two, three. So from eight, we subtract three numbers, then we're going to have what? Only five choices remaining. Okay, so for case one, we can finally calculate, maybe let me put it this side, the uh, total number of codes that can be formed uh, given that restriction. So it's giving me 45 codes here. Okay, so we can go for the second position. I mean, second uh, 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 option, uh, another case that we can have if we start with a six, uh, there's only one choice, that is to put six there. Okay, so in the last position, you can put four or eight. How many choices do you have? You have two choices. Then obviously in the middle one must be a two. That is only one choice. Okay. So from your total of eight choices, one, two, three positions would be occupied with a digit. Then from eight digits, you subtract three of them, you'll be left with what? With five there. Okay. So we can go and count those. It's one times five times one times two. It's going to be ten codes that can be formed that start with the six and that are greater than five thousand and uh, the third digit being a two okay so now we can go to this one the last uh, case case number three we start with an eight we only have one choice there that is to put eight then in the last position you can either put four or six we can't put two we can't put eight because eight has already been used two has already been used in the third position and you are saying we only have two choices 
in the last position here. Remember, in counting principle, we are more interested in the number of choices that we have in a particular case, so that to calculate the total number of ways uh, uh, in which, or rather the total number of combinations, we can just multiply the the total number of choices for a particular case. Okay, so then uh, the third one here must be a two, then this is only one choice. Uh, then uh, the middle one, obviously we're gonna say uh, one, two, three spaces have been filled out with a code, with a digit. Then uh, from eight choices, we subtract three, we'll be left with five to choose from. And this is also giving me another what? another uh, 10 okay let's see so now we can now go and add up all of them and to finally get the number of um, events so the number of events will be the addition of all these cases this was case 1 case 2 case 3 so it's 45 plus 10 plus 10 then this will give us uh, 45 55 65 okay so that is our number of events. We can now go and answer the question. Find the probability. So the probability is equal to the number of events divided by the number of sample space. The number of event was that on our first attempt, we have to get a code that is greater than 5,000 and the third digit being a 2. And we get that there are only 65 of those. Out of how many total number of possible codes that can be found? It's 840. So 65 out of 840 that is our probability you may want to round off to the nearest decimal right uh, just in decimal so it's going to be uh, 0, 0.077 which is the same as 0, 0.08 so that will be our probability okay